and welcome to Kudos Board's updates. My name is Maria Nudin and today I would like to show you a cool new capability in Kudos Boards. You might know that Kudos Boards is a fantastic task management application. It's great for organizations, for teams and for individuals. You can use Kudos Boards for a number of things, like taking notes from a meeting and then transform them to tasks, for your project with several team members, or for your day-to-day -day tasks at the office. But the best thing with Kudos Boards is that we have a number of capabilities that enables you to really make your tasks done. And if you feel that you would like to have a tutorial about Kudos Boards, check out the Kudos Boards video in our YouTube channel. So what about this great new capability I was talking about? It's called Mind Map and it's perfect when you want to have that visual overview of all your tasks in one board. Let us have a look. If you are familiar with Kudos Boards, you know that this is the start page where I have all my boards. I will open one of them. The traditional way of viewing your board with all your tasks is the Kanban style. You have your lists where you categorize all your tasks and you have your cards under your list. But now I'm gonna click out here to the right, mind map. And voila, here is the mind map view. It's very easy to get an overview of your project here. As you can see, you have uh, your board title, uh, all your lists and all your tasks. You can drag and drop, move these around if you want to change the order. You can move the cars by dragging and dropping them and you can change the layout by scrolling down here. Now I have the vertical layout and I can choose the horizontal layout, which looks like this or the radial layout, which looks like this. It's also very easy to work with your board. Let me zoom in and show you. Let's say I want to move one task from one list to another. I hover over the task, find the little orange button, click, drag and drop. There, now I moved it. If I want to rename a task or a list, I just click the little edit button here. If I want to archive my card, I click this archive button. And if I want to add a sub card, I click this button. If I want to recenter my mind map, I click here. So let us try and create a mind map from scratch. Oh wait! My team called me to the meeting room. They're by the whiteboard planning this conference trip we're gonna do in May this year. Let's see what they're up to. We have a bunch of tasks. We have the trip, yeah? Um, we need to book hotels. Uh, we need to book flights. We have some meetings with customers. We need to book them. We need to take some materials with us and do some demos. And um, wait a minute. I need an afternoon with shopping. Let's plan that in two. This is quite messy and we need to see who does what. Shopping, I volunteer. I'm also good at booking hotels. I'm gonna have Adam booking the flights. I'm gonna have Jay doing the demos. I'm gonna do the materials and meetings. That's for all of us, actually. This looks great, but oh no, now we need to take a photo of this whiteboard. I should have just told them that we could do it in boards immediately. Let's build it up there instead. Here is my blank canvas and my new board. Now I have to add the content. I click here to start. Flights, hotels, uh, demo, materials, meetings, and uh, mm, shopping. Now I have my lists. And now it's very easy to add tasks on this list. Brochures, giveaways, pens. And then here, Create a demo, and then one here, book hotels, book flights, meetings, book meetings, find best street. There, now we have a couple of tasks on each list. I want to recenter it and then add who's going to do what. Adam was going to do the flights, 
he was also going to do the meetings. I'm doing all the material. Jay was going to do the demo. And um, I booked a hotel. And let me see, who was responsible for the shopping? Uh, me. And there we have it. Very easy, made from scratch, not stuck on a whiteboard where someone will erase it before you know it. And you can continue working with it, adding tasks, removing tasks and move them around. And if you would like to look at your board in the traditional Kanban style, just click here. That was all about our new cool feature Mind Map View. Our sharp-eyed viewers might see that there is an extra menu option here called Timeline View. So make sure you check out the next video where we cover that. And cut! I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. So stay tuned for the next one. Bye!